What's good to the tribe? It's Wanagi. Wanted to talk to you guys today about something. It's 2020. You know, a lot of us are deep in the health and getting our bodies right and our minds right, soul, or whatever you want to call it. But I was doing some thinking. Um, I know you guys have heard of fasting. I've seen my mom do it. I've seen my grandparents do it. I've heard of a lot of people doing it. But I'm thinking, should I actually start to fast? I've never fasted in my life. In my life, I've never fasted. Always seeing people around me. But one thing you'll notice, they tend to be a little bit different when they're fasting, or once they come to the end of it. And not saying different, like hungry different, but a different kind of like They're understanding things more. I know we talk about getting back to nature and getting back to the land and everybody's trying to get um, closer to the creator or the great spirit or whatever you want to call it. I, I came across a clip and it's an interview of Dick Gregory a couple years back I'll put the, the video in the description tab for you guys to see and he was just dropping jewels but like hidden jewels like you really had to be like you really had to pay attention to him and then watch his his expressions when he's saying this like he he knows it he knows the power of fasting. He was saying we were gods. Do you feel it brings you closer to God? I'm God, you God. Hmm. See, I can't answer that. Mm -hmm. I said God means power. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Power, sure you feel power. Mm -hmm. hmm? So what are the benefits of a fast? Huh? What are the benefits of a fast? You didn't answer, ask me that on the... Yeah, it's wrong. Oh, okay. You don't fast to make bad people good people. You fast to create a positive energy force where other forces can gather. The word fast means to abstain from. So if you drinking water, you're on a water diet. That's not a fast. You're drinking fruit juice, you're on a fruit juice diet. When you take nothing, when you talk about the story of Jesus and them, that's 40 days on just breathing. I never understood why Gandhi got so much play heat as long as he fasted well, 13 days. I didn't realize that 13 days was nothing. You know, just breathing. And then everything in the body changes. You know, the universe takes over. And uh, the people who know more than anybody else is the Church of God in Christ. Yeah, I always thought you had to go X amount of days taking juice to get ready for a fast. <laughs> and they go from eating dinner to a fast. And when they break their fast, they go right back to the pork chops and nothing happens to them. <laughs>
but also it heals, it heals, it cleanses. See, once you go on a fast, the body starts consuming itself. So if you took a comb and combed your hair, what are the hairs going to come out of the comb? The weak ones or the strong ones? Mm. Weak ones. Okay, so if you have cancer, when you go on a fast, it starts eating up all. That's how you heal. The day you was here, if you just assume when the universe invented this planet, it hadn't been back. So if it wasn't here then, then it's supposed to be here now. If it's here now, it wasn't made by the universe. Well, this had a hell of a story the other day. The, the, the third cause of death in America, one is a heart condition, cancer, and doctors making a mistake. Is that, is that kind of incredible, man? Mm -hmm. Is that why? <laughs> it's deep. Yeah, and so that's what fasting. What, what got you into fasting? A woman named Dr. Fulton, probably the number one faster on the planet. She's dead now, but uh, a black woman in Chicago. Yeah, incredible. But you, you fasted for, to, you know, until peace was attained, or there were different missions. So it was prayer part of the ritual of fasting for you, or? I didn't. No, I just. I just said I wasn't going to eat no more solid food to the war in Vietnam. I, was like, I didn't know it was going to take two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, hurry up, get it over. <laughs> what was the first thing you ate? Huh? What was the first thing you oh, ate? I don't remember that. No? Mm -hmm. Because it's part of the sacrifice. No, I do so many fasts. Mm -hmm. I do so many fasts. As long as I've gone on water, it's 180 days along on fruit juice. It's two and a half years. You just think about people back in the day and um, all the natural things they had back in the day. And I, I guarantee like fruits and vegetables taste totally different. Everything I bet tastes totally different than it does now because it's all GMO. But It just, it just feels like we should start to take the time to go back on things. And I don't want to say traditions because I don't even know where fasting started from. But I know a lot of copper color, black, African, American people fast. And asking you guys, put in the comments if you ever fasted before, and what do you know about fasting? Or is it other better ways or methods to do things? I know, I, I know when I used to see my my mom or my grandparents or just family members fast, I thought it was because they were wanting something, like they were trying to get something. But more that I'm reading up on it and um, watching videos and stuff like that. It's, it's just like you, you're becoming one again with, your, with yourself, with the creator. Like you can start to feel your powers a little bit, if that even makes sense. But just wanted to drop this off on you guys. Nothing too serious. Just glad it's Friday. But tell me what you guys think about it. Should people fast? Should they not? I know they go on water fast and juice fast and things like that. So, um... Let me know what you guys think. But I love you guys. Feathers up. Tribe up. Wise up. Rise up. Damn. If it isn't the world's oldest living Negro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how things going on Underground Railroad, Isaac? <laughs> oh, please, please, be nice to Mr. Isaac. Good evening, Mr. Isaac. Come on, have a seat.
Good evening, Mr. Isaac. How you doing tonight? I didn't know I'm playing. I'm playing with Isaac all the time. Now, you know I'm messing with you. Oh, yeah, you say what you want to say, but Isaac's still like a Brahma bull when it comes to relations. Ain't that right, baby? Well, you know what they say. You're as young as you feel. Yeah, well, I must be 196. <laughs> Perfect.